Hello guys, welcome. This is Brandon Mabley here from the KFAS studio in London on this glorious day. Anyway, I hope all of you has, have ridden through on this challenging time that we've had. But what's extraordinary is that a lot of people have been turning to working with their hands and being creative. Anyway, it's inspired me to throw out to you a project for this knit along fad that everybody seems to be getting into but what I wanted to do was really focus on the importance of playing with colour and pattern and give you a very simple idea um, rather than these complicated um, knit alongs that have been going out into the ethos. Anyway looking at the gorgeous Rowan yarns that we have available to us um, I wanted to take a palette of colours that were all consistent in weight but had a really lovely crisp clarity to them like stained glass window colours that light a little better, a little clearer there. Okay, so what I did was I pulled um, 14 different balls of out of this palette and I eliminated anything that was too light. Because you can see here, with these beautiful, rich, smoldery colours, if I were to inject anything that was quite light, then it just becomes too much of a sharp, vicious, steal the attention note. Unless you're actually going to pull a palette where you're working with all lighter shades of colours, then they would find their place. But I took away, I took away any of the lighter colours and I purely focused on the richer dark colours. And what I did was I took inspiration from a book that Kaif had, um, Kaif and myself had done a couple of years back called Quilts in Italy. And playing with the, um, a very simple uh, structure that inspired by a uh, patchwork quilt all patch of quilt. Cave had come up with this structure that's like a woven pattern. And you can see each block is really focusing on a light, dark, light. Light, dark, light. Light, dark, light. So what I thought I would do is I would take two yarns that were contrasting in colours and I would just knit up a bunch of colours. So for instance I took a hot red and a cool blue and just knitted, cast on 25 stitches, knit 10 rows in the blue, 10 rows in the red, 10 rows in the blue, cast off. So that's 25 stitches 10 rows, 10 rows, 10 rows. And this is a great project you can just do in front of the television. Or if anybody wants to become comfortable or familiar or hasn't knitted before, it's purely just doing stocking, stockinette stitch, where you knit one row, pull one row. Okay, so what I did was I knitted a bunch of colors. And then when I had enough of the colors together, I started putting them together as if that I was creating an interweave pattern. Now, one of the things that I want to point out to you is that if you add two colors that are of uh, the lighter persuasion or the same tonal balance, and you add them into the mix with the high contrast, what happens? This one kind of looks like an old tea bag it kind of blends out. There's no flavor in there. These have a kind of nice jigger, a nice dance, a little bit of attitude. Whereas this one, the eye just floats over it. There's nothing to actually hold you in there as if you're rock climbing. So if you keep the consistency of working with the high contrast, you're starting to build the palette and it moves along at quite a pace. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how excited I got about this project because I basically I just got carried away taken the 14 yarns and I knitted up a series of colors actually I did 99 blocks because I figured out that if I were to take I wanted to knit a nice blanket to go on the on the um, in front of the television 
or you know for the back of the car or something like that and so here you can see it's just a pattern that the colors are so random they don't it's not a case of two colors running right across the the block the block the stripe blocks are weaving in different directions that create the pattern and when this is sewn together we'll be showing you a picture of what it looks like sewn together I think it's quite fabulous there's a lovely kind of old world but very modern feel about it so I hope that I've given you a little bit of an inspiration uh, and to have a go yourself and also share with me if any of you have taken this idea and share, um, knitted something up yourself, you don't need to go as far as I've gone. Make a scarf or make a cushion. But it's a great way to get your friends, your children, um, even your partner having to go playing with colour. It's so um, life-absorbing life and it's wonderful. It just, I don't know, it's been a joy. So I hope that I can use something that will give you a little thrill too. Thank mm -hmm. you.